yeah. is a beautiful indication. Right, so when you oh dear, oh. stopping there. Oh <laughs> my word. See if we could bring that to this channel, yeah. eating sweets in cars, oh. I think we'd all win. That sounds good to me. Or pizza either way. I'm, is it I'm illegal to eat in cars? While you're driving, yeah, probably. But do you? Yeah. <laughs> Today, guys, you join me from the driver's seat of a 2017, 2018 Jeep Compass. I'm with the lovely Kate. Hey, guys. Um, we are going to teach her, in a way, teach her how to drive an automatic because you've never done it before. Never. <laughs> well, so we're going to capitalise on this. And it should be quite funny, I think, because... Um, well, then I suppose you can show how easy it is. Yeah, it's realistically... What do you drive as I a I drive a Renault Clio yeah. petrol manual. Yeah, so this is completely alien to you in theory. Yes. This is a, a Compass, so it's the bigger, um, you know, the Jeep, not the, uh, not, not the base model sort of thing. I've not driven a car this big. Yeah. And you haven't driven an auto as well. And which some is of the so lanes funny. are really thin. <laughs> yeah, so I can't wait for this. Positive Obviously, side. Positive side. I've got a heated steering wheel. Heated steering wheel has already been put on and the heated seats are on as well. So okay. um, shout out to Jeep for one, giving us this car to play with and putting all the heating on before we got and in it as well. Me an awesome hat. Yeah, you got a free hat, I got free socks. <laughs> I think we've won today just I'm by getting the free stuff. I'm a bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so we were going through, there's no clutch pedal at all, is there? No. So you can keep your foot on the brake when you're selecting in the gear. So do you want to jump straight into it? Let's go. Ready? So foot on the brake. So foot on the brake, yeah. Be. And just slide it straight into drive. So now, usually in a normal car, you would put the, <laughs> you'd put the uh, handbrake down, but this has got an electronic handbrake that, re, that, that releases straight away. Okay. So you don't even have to do that. So literally, it will always coast, in my opinion, leave a comment below if I'm wrong, it will always coast this car. It will always carry on pushing along. So it won't stall. So it won't stall. You're good for stalling. It's all fine. And just release the brake, not onto the... I'd, I'd get used to just coming off the brake and feeling the car go along without you even doing anything. I'm sweating just thinking about it. <laughs> we'll turn you it put my turn side on 20. Yeah. So yeah, just come off the brake and it should just start going along. Oh, I need a bit more than that. A little bit more. There you go, so it's already trying you, to go. Are you scared? Um, being in the car with me? I don't know, because you haven't driven with me in the car yet. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit... I'm uh, just on the... I feel really low. <laughs> yeah, do you want to bring the seat up at all? I don't, can it come I did up? put the seat all the way down when I got in this car. Oh, though, did you? Uh, that's just sort of the way I, I do like stuff, unfortunately. Those, oh, I'm literally wanting to press the um, clutch. The clutch, yeah. So right, as you indication. come to a stop, then oh, you just use... that's a lovely indication. It is a beautiful indication. Right, so when you... Oh, dick, oh. stopping there. Oh, <laughs> my word. They're coming too fast around that corner. But yeah, as you come to a stop, no clutch goes down, obviously, and you just literally on and off the brake, and then on and off to the throttle. So, no changing gear. You just literally that's sit weird. there. It's a weird feeling coming from someone that's obviously you've only driven manuals. Yeah. So this is the first automatic. I and can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, really. you are doing bloody well though. Um, what do you think size of the car? Um, Quite happy. Oh, they're letting me go. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Then they let. Her go. <laughs> that's good. That's a good thing. Um, but the size of the car is so it's quite simple to get used to because it's not overhanging too look at much me i've already got my arm yeah, off see, just like that. even though from the outside it's a really big car yeah like you say it doesn't actually feel no. that massive it feels like a car okay it's funny because i think what scares me about an automatic is the stop and start now that yeah. i'm driving i don't mind yeah I'm gonna You're find. You're doing well though. Position of the oh, car's no. good and everything. Roundabout. Take right, that's it. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Go straight to the roundabout there. Didn't even stop whatsoever. <laughs> and this is the powerful two-liter turbocharged yes. diesel engine as well. 170 brake horsepower in this one. So quite. What's that mean? Quite. It's the power of the power of the engine. But you said horse brake. Brake horsepower. Brake horse back. Did a bit of off-road in there as well. <laughs> I'm so yeah. glad Jamie had to take me off the green first. You were uh, not wanting to do the first part of your trip in an off-road moment. No. <laughs> Coming off the grass. How does it feel? It feels good and I really like driving, but They're right. when I now have to do a direction, that's what scares me a bit. Yeah. So <laughs> but just, I think it just... You should be all right. I think, you know, it's quite easy to how drive around here, I'd say. 
Oh my word, I'm not used to that. Oh, 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 oh. Jump straight in it, straight on the gas, <laughs> straight away. Not even too bothered about what how fast we're going. What did you think about the, because when we were going up a hill, were we struggling before or was that just you going slow? No, it was just me going slow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it does pick up really well this um, Do you think the power of it's really good? Yeah, I think for the size, the power is really good, and especially I personally would go for um, the 170 brake yeah, horsepower. I'm going, I'm the limited one as well, which is what we're in, which is the top spec, um, 36,000 pound on this one, and you get a lot of amenities. Heated steering wheel being one of them, which biggest tick in the heated box seats. after what we've done today. Yeah. Um, heated seats. This isn't the um, biggest Jeep they sell. It's still very. Um, small in a sense, but it's got all the big boy stuff in it. The navigation on the eight inch screen as well. Is that amazing. Is very I love these um, indicators. Oh, see, yeah, I keep nice, going to there. You do, yeah, so you will like try and grab the stick, but probably not the best idea. I've also turned off stop start because. What's that mean? Basically, when you come to a stop, it will turn the engine off. Oh. And no one needs that. No one needs that Thank in the world. You. And, you know, it's good for fuel economy and stuff, but realistically, no one needs that in their life. If you're, you know, darting around the countryside, it's yeah. not really something you need. Um, this also has four wheel lock and everything, so it's got, you know, all of the off road abilities snow, sand, and mud um, terrain lock uh, in this one, which is. A pretty good thing. Are you a potential buyer? Is this something that you would be interested in? Because I think you did you know say what? This, this was something you would want. And I would absolutely love this car. So I have been a fan of Jeep Wranglers for such a long time. I love the rustic look at it, yeah. of it. But I also love how sophisticated this is. Yeah. Oh, this is. It's like top notch, and it is. I would buy this very, car tomorrow if yeah. I just had the funds. And I, I think this is in keeping with, uh, you know, the, the, the Land Rover Evoque, especially. I think it's the sort of same price range yeah. and same sort of target market. The fact that they've well, done cheaper, on this, I think this is cheaper, fully spec, this is cheaper than an Evoque. Don't quote me. Uh, yeah. But I think that's right. I did do a bit of reading up. These actually start at 22995 for that's actually the so cheap, bottom too. one, so cloth seats and uh, you know, manual gearbox. The brake seems to be take a bit longer. Yeah, because, because you I'm haven't got used to? Um, engine braking, which is what you would get in a manual car. Um, so you just coast everywhere. Um, a couple of things to point out in this, which I'm really happy with, aux and um, USB with a phone charger there. But in the back, there's a actually there's, there's a, a plug, plug there's socket. a plug socket. So shout out to Jeep for putting a plug socket. This that is like such good going in my opinion. Is there an, um, any other cars that have a plug socket in? A lot of American stuff does. I think really? we'll agree that American stuff seems to come with that. This also has a power tailgate as well, which is quite a nice option. Um, oh, and you very, to yeah, mention so you the, um, the little hidden thing. Please. Yeah, so a lot of people may not know, but Jeep especially, have, uh, they're called Easter eggs, I think, something like that, but they have little funny things around the car, it's like a sort of a heritage thing. And this one, I found, has a little gecko, I think it is, on the, um, the skull panel at the front. It also has a Loch Ness monster, so when you look in the rear view mirror, you can yeah. actually see it on the rear window, which is quite funny. And then if you bring the boot up, there's actually an old school um, front of a Jeep on it. That's so it's cool. like a It's like a cool little homologation to, you know, their their it's history and stuff. To detail. Yeah, and I, I I appreciate stuff like that, especially with a market full of the same car sometimes. It's nice to jump in something that's a bit cheeky, a bit of fun. Mm. Um, and I think this is it because, you know, those little bits sort of show that they're just having a laugh and they want to yeah. like show their heritage as well with, with, with what they've done with the Wrangler and stuff. Would um, you um, be able to turn my heated seat on? I may. Uh, let's I find control. out. Controls. There we go. This has actually got the ventilated seats in this one as well, so it has oh, the so cooling cool. seats. Yeah, so it will put a fan of waft up your bum, <laughs> which is my, <laughs> my, 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 my actual car I drive daily, the Lexus, everyone knows about it. It actually has ventilated seats, really? and the only reason I bought the car is for the ventilated seats. No. It's the best thing ever. So when you come out of the gym, gym goers would know you wouldn't mind a cold seat, yeah. and it works fantastic. And I'm assuming this works the same way, but we're not going to find out today because no. I'm really cold. Other things that this has, it has a hill descent, which is pretty cool, and that's something we're going to be able to uh, feature on this uh, test drive. But I think for you, how are you feeling? We've only been doing this, what, five minutes? Yeah. You're very comfortable. I feel. You feel like you've accomplished the automatic straight away. I feel away. like I have. <laughs> um, and you said it was easy. And I think because the last time I attempted to, I was probably so young. 
it was so scary. But this, yeah. I really, really can't cool. believe how easy I did it. I thought yeah. I was really freaking out. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit confused about. Um, Ooh, here's a hill. Here's a hill. <laughs> Did a bit of uh, off road up the hill there, that was good. The sat nav is there, but then when you need to do something, it doesn't Yeah, hear. so the sat nav is actually in front of you as well as towards, you know, obviously the center, yeah. media center. Um, so you can actually not have to look across, you can look straight in front of you and all the. Uh, yeah. All the you know so right much about cars. Um, I like cars. Oh my word, my beam's on, that's why that person was flashing oh. me. <laughs> So the whole time Sorry. you have had your high beam on, you've done well. Something to point out that we're, obviously for copyright reasons we can't show, Beats by Dre sound system yes. in here. So it's got a <gasps> sub in the back, really it's got all of the, the um, speakers and stuff, it's the highest spec. So Beats by Dre system, if you're gonna buy one of these, get that as well, because yeah. it is a banging system. Now, if you all don't know, what do you do on YouTube? I will put, obviously, your links in the <laughs> uh, description below, social media links and everything, but what do you do? So I actually bake. Uh, I have a YouTube channel full of baked goods and treats and things like that, but I also do lots of tasting videos. So yeah. me and my brother, Alex, we, we try American candy, Japanese candy, Mexican candy. And I love off. them because I'm, I'm a big American sweet fan. Yes. Anyway, if you haven't already, subscribe to your channel. Thank you. Because uh, I like watching you eat sweets. It's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite funny. So you've eaten everything under the sun as well. Yeah. yeah that's pretty. That's that is a channel. That is a channel we all need to watch Do because you know that's what? just so cool. We basically did the British people trying British candy so we could eat all of our. Yeah. Too <laughs> it, it was the best day ever. I like that. Best day ever. ever. See if we could bring that to this channel. Yeah. Eating sweets in cars. Oh. I think we'd all win that sounds good to me or pizza either way I'm, is it I'm illegal to eat in cars while you're driving yeah probably but do you yeah <laughs> thank you guys for watching we're going to carry on our lovely drive yes. if you haven't subscribe instagram everything we'll see you later thanks guys cheers guys bye <laughs>